for the older adult and adult programs, you know, we cover a variety of different populations. And so we have clinics that provide mental health services primarily, um, but, you know, in a capacity of, you know, one-on-one -on -one therapy, group therapy. We even have practitioners that provide um, medication services. So we treat depression. And it's short-term evidence-based uh, program and therapy that we use. So about like uh, in five, six months, we are able to treat depressions very successfully. And our success rate is about 80%. So that is huge in mental health and especially among older adult population. So COVID-19 has impacted our programs in a way that, you know, very obviously just across the board, um, just an increase in anxiety. Um, you know, with everybody. This pandemic definitely has affected seniors, especially those who are very isolated, lonely, without family, they are stuck in their apartments. There are more isolations, there are more fears, now, you know, go out, meet a friend, or even see the doctors or all the providers, so they, they are fearful of going outside. And they don't have that proper education, knowledge also how to maintain their well-being and how to cope up with all this trauma is kind of trauma that is going on. They can't sleep. They're thinking about, okay, you know, what's going to happen? And of course, with English, um, it's not the language. And with all the news, they, they might not fully understand. The number of reports are going up because they're really depressed and they don't know what to do, where to go for help. With COVID-19, we know that it's not going to go, you know, away anytime soon and we keep that in mind. So with that, we need to come up with a lot of adaptations, you know, how to provide services, how to, you know, make sure that we are safe. We've been trying to find ways to be creative, and it turns out that um, a lot of the telehealth and electronic ways of doing things um, has been resonating a lot with our, our clients to serve, which is um, a huge uh, blessing, you know, that we have um, clients who say, hey, this is very comfortable for me to do so. Um, on the flip side, you know, technology is also very limited, right? There's not, um, not everybody has a computer, not everybody has a smartphone, and so the ability to reach all of our clients may also be limited. The elderly, English is not their, their language, and technology is, is another element that into it. So it's really, really difficult to make sure that we stay, you know, we have to be very creative how we keep connected with them and make sure that they call us or we call them and, and uh, you know, I mean, a lot of work, a lot of time consuming. I would say that this program is a lifeline for them, for many seniors in San Diego, especially the people, those who are not familiar with English language, monolingual people, Hispanics, Vietnamese. We also have like Cambodia, Hmong, Lao, you know, all the litter where they, we have staff for it. The staff members here are some of their only contacts in the day, in the week, and so having just kind of that human touch is so important for anybody. And so uh, for our clients, you know, knowing that they have somebody out there that can support them, that can reach out to them, that can ask about how their day is, how, um, how their symptoms are doing, you know, any ways that we can um, be here to support you um, is just so important, even if the clients don't even need anything. It's so vital, we cannot just ignore this program. This program helps them survive and lead their life independently. Our staff are the first, it's in a way, the first responder, the direct uh, providers uh, services. This population has been neglected also. People hardly think about senior citizens and we have so much passion to help this population. Regardless whether we do remotely or whether they're coming to us, we want them to know that we're here for them. We're not closing, we're, got, no, we're not going anywhere. And if they need help, they can call us. Um, if they wanted to come, we have all the protection, all safety measures you know, in place. They're welcome to come in and we're here for them.